hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be sharing prawn curry recipe now i know there is a lot of uh, prawn curries out there this is a dry version so in terms of ingredients we've got some onion um some curry leaf curry leaf is really important in this recipe because it gives that really nice taste we've got some sliced uh, tomatoes now if you don't have sliced tomatoes you can use canned tomatoes maybe half a can of tomatoes or however much you like we've got some coriander for seasoning i won't be using all this coriander we're making some more curry so you know i decided to chop a whole heap of it um all together and then of course we've got some yeah, nice prawns so these are shelled and deveined as well um and then in terms of my dumper box so i'll be using um mustard seed and then i'll use uh, some uh, cumin seeds and then i'll use some fenugreek seeds and then i'll use some turmeric and i'll use some fiji um just the fiji standard masala um i've got my chili and garlic and ginger over here and then of course some avocado oil and then I've, um, i'll also be using some um salt as well so let's head into the kitchen and um, see how that comes all together so to a pan we'll add some oil now to the oil i'll add a, a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, fenugreek um which is your methi and then one teaspoon of your mustard seeds which is your sarso and then I'll add uh, probably about one and a bit of one and a bit of um, jira, and you just want to give it a toss, and you just want it to kind of bloom before you add anything else. Now I do have a lot of people who ask me why I use avocado oil and not any other oil. Avocado oil actually has a really high smoking point, so it's really good to use for curries, and also it's really good for your health as well. Now that's coming along nicely, I'll add in my onion and curry leaf. So I always add in my curry leaf last. Um, you know, I'll wait for my onion to brown before I add in my curry leaf. For this recipe, it's good to add in your curry leaf earlier. Um, and now you just want to brown it off and you want the ends to get brown and the onions to get translucent. Now that you can see my onions are brown and translucent, I'll add in my tomatoes. So what I'll do with this is I'll cook until my onions all cooked off. And now I haven't forgotten to add my ginger and garlic and chili. I'll just wait for this to all cook off and then I'll add that in. And the reason for that is because I don't use a lot of oil in my cooking. And if I add it now, it starts, um, the whole house starts smelling like um, ginger and garlic and chili. And everyone starts coughing. So I'll wait until I've got a bit of sauce with this. And then I'll add in my ginger, garlic and chili and they'll fry up nicely. All right, I'll go check how my um, onion and uh, tomatoes are doing. So that's cooking away really nicely. So what I'll do to this is I'll add in my ginger, garlic and chili paste now. So I'll add that in, give it a stir, and then I'll cover it up and I'll cook it off again. If you're like me and you don't like to use a lot of oil in your cooking, you can add a bit of um, water to this and just let it all cook together. Because once the curries all cook nicely, um, you won't be able to tell that there was only a little bit of oil used in this cooking. So this is cooking away really nicely. Now to this, what I'll do is I'll add in my turmeric and masala. So what I've done is I've actually... Um, I don't know if you can see that properly, but what I've done is I've actually um, added one teaspoon of turmeric and uh, one and a half uh, teaspoons of masala. And I've just put, uh, put mixed it together with some water and uh, we'll cook that off now. Give it a nice stir. Now, if you want... Um, you could, once your masala is cooked, if you want to add coconut cream, you can do that and I'll tell you at what stage. But I'm just making a really dry um, prawn curry today, so I won't be adding a lot of um, gravy to this. Cool, so once that's um, there, give it a nice mix. And the gravy is coming around, um, around really nicely, you can see that. Now you just want this to cook away um, nicely, um, cover it up and cook it, or you can just leave it up as well and cook it. Once the oil starts separating, that's when you'll add in your prawns. I can see that the oil starting to um, come out of my masala, so I know that uh, my masala is all cooked now. Um, and I can start to smell it as well. Now to that I'll add in my prawns. To my prawns at this stage i'll add in my onion i'm um, sorry my salt according to taste now you can add your salt um when you're making your masala as well that's a good time to add in your salt as well um now if you are wanting to use coconut cream before you add in your prawns you want to add in your coconut cream cook that off a bit and then add in your prawns because prawns take really quick to cook 
Um, so you want to sort of add it at the end stage. Make sure your, um, if your heat is sort of medium to high. And now you just want to make sure that everything's all coated nicely. Um, and that, uh, yeah, and, and once it's coated nicely, just cover it and let it cook for a while. Again, don't cook it for a long time because if you cook prawns for a very long time, it becomes really rubbery, rubbery as well. So give it a stir, cook it in about medium to high heat, and I'll show you what that looks like. There we go, that's mixed together really nicely, and I've actually got my pan in high heat. Um, and I'll just let it, I'll just cover it up, and I'll just let it all steep, and I want all the nice um, flavors to mix together really nicely, but I'll just make sure I keep on um, stirring it every now and then as well. All right, we'll quickly check what it looks like. Like I said, this will cook off really quickly. And that's looking really nice. The main purpose is we're just wanting everything to get coated really nicely. Um, and that's coming through really nicely. Now, if you want to have a bit of gravy, um, you can bit a bit of, add a bit of water to this as well if you want to. Um, but I'm just cooking it quite dry because I'll serve it with some raw tea. And this is looking pretty much done to me. Um, I'll add in a bit of coriander and then let that sit for about two minutes and then I'll turn off my stove. So just add a bit of coriander to this. This is really nice with some dal and rice as well. And that's done. There we go. Simple prawn curry, all done. And I'll show you what that looks like and how I serve it up. There we go. we go that's all served up that came out really nice now if you like my channel if you like what i'm posting feel free to share like and subscribe and do let me know what else you guys want me to post take care guys bye